Welcome to our uh, deep dive into X24 Season 8. Yeah. Extension's annual 24-hour hackathon. Um, and this year's theme is AI as a human companion. Right. Pretty fascinating stuff. It really is. We're going to breaking down the challenge statements and exploring how AI is becoming more and more integrated into our lives. It's really not just about building, you know, cool technology. It's about exploring how AI can really make a difference, solve those real world problems and improve, you know, our daily experiences. Exactly. And I think this year's theme, Fold, Unfold, really captures that idea. Can you maybe elaborate on that a bit? Yeah, absolutely so. Folding refers to that seamless integration of AI into our lives, you know, almost like it's working behind the scenes. So think about using AI to like optimize your commute or personalize your newsfeed. Right. Unfolding is about unleashing AI's full potential to create these innovative solutions. It's about really pushing the boundaries of what's possible with technologies like generative AI. So it's about finding that balance between AI as a subtle helper and AI as a powerful innovator. Exactly, yeah. And to understand this year's challenges, um, it's really important to kind of grasp the core technologies at play. Uh, generative AI, machine learning, and synthetic data. Yeah, let's uh, break those down a bit. What exactly is generative AI? Generative AI is like a creative force, you know? It can create new content, whether that's text or images, music, even code, based on the data that it's been trained on. It's like having an AI artist that can compose a song or write a poem. Amazing, and what about machine learning? Isn't that kind of similar? They're definitely related, but machine learning is more about analyzing data to find patterns and make predictions. So it's the engine behind things like personalized recommendations on streaming services, or even fraud detection and financial transactions. So generative AI creates while machine learning predicts. What role does synthetic data play in all of this? So synthetic data is artificially generated data that mimics real data, but without the privacy concerns. And this is really crucial because, you know, training AI models requires tons and tons of data. Synthetic data allows developers to train these models without using sensitive personal information. That makes a lot of sense. It sounds like these three technologies really work together to power some pretty incredible solutions. Now let's dive into the heart of X24, the challenge statements. Each one tackles a very specific problem area where AI can really make a difference. The first challenge is Active Ally, which focuses on personalized fitness and lifestyle management. It's about creating an AI-powered platform that goes beyond just generic recommendations. So instead of just telling you to exercise more, Active Ally would actually understand your lifestyle, your preferences and create a truly customized plan. Precisely, it would consider things like your schedule, your fitness level, even your dietary restrictions to create a plan that fits seamlessly into your life. That's taking personalization to a whole new level. I can definitely see how folding and unfolding come into play here. The AI is discreetly working in the background, but it's also using sophisticated algorithms to create something truly innovative and personalized. Exactly. Next up is Adaptix, which aims to revolutionize online shopping experiences, especially for a global audience. Yeah, I think we've all experienced that frustration of endless scrolling and filtering on shopping websites. How would Adaptix address this? So imagine a website that understands your preferences. Based on your past purchases, your browsing history, Adaptix would use AI to personalize your shopping experience from the moment you land on the page. Okay, that would definitely save time and reduce frustration. But Adaptix goes beyond just personalized recommendations, right? Absolutely. It also tackles the challenge of language barriers by enabling multilingual support. So you could shop in your preferred language regardless of the website's original language. That's a game changer for international shoppers. And I read that it also incorporates voice and image-based search, which would make finding what you're looking for even easier. Exactly. It's about making online shopping as intuitive and enjoyable as possible, regardless of where you are in the world. Next, we have InsureSense, which focuses on streamlining the often complex world of health insurance. Oh, yeah. Health insurance can be super overwhelming. With those complicated policies and a lot of fine print, InsureSense aims to simplify the entire process using AI. So instead of spending hours on the phone with customer service, you could have an AI assistant guide you through the process. Exactly. InsureSense would help you understand your coverage options, find the best plan for your needs, and even navigate that claims process. It's about bringing transparency and efficiency to the health insurance sector. That sounds incredibly helpful, mm -hmm. especially for people who are unfamiliar with the you know, intricacies of health insurance. Yeah, and on the back end, InsurSense can use machine learning to analyze claims data and identify potential fraud, which could save insurance companies a lot of money. So it's a win-win for both consumers and insurance providers. What's the next challenge? Let's talk about Movie Maven, which tackles the age-old problem of finding something good to watch. Oh, I know that struggle all too well. <laughs> With so many streaming services and endless choices, it can be overwhelming to find something you'll actually enjoy. Movie Maven aims to solve that by being like the ultimate movie recommendation engine. It would analyze your viewing history, your preferences, even things like your mood and what's on your calendar to suggest movies you're likely to love. That sounds way more personalized than the generic recommendations I usually get. But what makes Movie Maven truly innovative? Well, the unfolding aspect comes in with its use of generative AI. 
Imagine seeing a movie poster that's been specifically created to appeal to your tastes. Wow, a personalized movie poster. That's taking recommendations to a whole new level. And it's not just visuals. Imagine reading a movie description that's tailored to your preferred genres and themes. Movie Maven could even generate custom trailers based on your preferences. That would definitely make me more likely to watch something new. The next challenge is Network Ninja, which focuses on making networking at large events more efficient and less daunting. Yeah, conferences and industry events can be pretty overwhelming, especially for us introverts. Mm -hmm. How would Network Ninja help? So it would start by creating a personalized itinerary based on your interests. And also, who else is attending the event? Imagine having an AI assistant that tells you exactly who to connect with and when. Okay, that would take the guesswork out of networking. Yeah. And make it much less intimidating. Exactly. Network Ninja could even suggest icebreakers and conversation starters, helping you make those meaningful connections. And I read that it can also help you schedule follow-up meetings and manage your contacts. Absolutely. It's about making networking less about chance encounters and more about those strategic connections. Up next, we have Signal Sage which focuses on addressing traffic violations in a smarter, more efficient way. Yeah, traffic violations are a problem in cities all over the world. Signal Sage empowers citizens to become active participants in promoting road safety. So imagine being able to easily report a traffic violation with just a simple photo or voice note from your smartphone. That would be much more convenient than trying to find the right phone number or website to report a violation. And Signal Sage goes beyond just reporting. It uses generative AI to automatically validate the reports, ensuring that only legitimate cases are reaching the authorities. Okay, so it saves everyone time and resources by filtering out false reports. Exactly. And for traffic personnel, Signal Sage provides a powerful dashboard with real-time data and predictive analytics, so they can see where violations are most likely to occur and deploy resources accordingly. It's like having an AI traffic cop that can anticipate problems before they even happen. What about the final challenge? Our final challenge is Supply Snap which aims to optimize the supply chain, particularly for perishable goods. Perishable goods are tricky because of their limited shelf life. How would SupplySnap improve this process? So SupplySnap utilizes machine learning to predict demand, optimize inventory, and streamline deliveries. This would minimize waste and ensure that products reach consumers fresh and on time. That's a win-win for both businesses and consumers. Can you give us a specific example of how this might work? Sure. Imagine a grocery store using Supply Snap to predict how many avocados they'll need to order next week, based on things like historical data, weather patterns, even social media trends. That's incredibly smart. So it's about using AI to make the entire supply chain more efficient and responsive. Exactly. And beyond forecasting, Supply Snap can help manage delivery logistics, suggesting optimal routes for drivers and providing real time updates on delivery status. It's like having an AI powered supply chain manager overseeing every step of the process. Now, in addition to these seven challenges, there's a special one called Impress Me, right? Yes, Impress Me is a unique challenge where participants define their own problem and solution. So it's a chance for them to really showcase their creativity yeah. and push the boundaries of what's possible with AI. Exactly. But there are some guidelines. Like what? So the problem they choose to tackle needs to be a real world problem with a clear impact. It can't be something hypothetical or too niche. Makes sense. They need to demonstrate a solution that can actually make a difference. Right. And they need to demonstrate a compelling use of machine learning, generative AI, and synthetic data. So it's not just about coming up with a good idea. It's about showcasing their technical skills and understanding of these key technologies. Absolutely. The Impress Me Challenge really encourages participants to think outside the box oh. and come up with solutions that we might not have even thought of. It's like a wild card that could truly revolutionize any number of fields. That's exciting. It really is. Okay, well, that wraps up part one of our deep dive into X24 season eight. I'm already blown away by the potential of these challenges. Me too. And in part two, we'll take a closer look at the Impress Me Challenge and discuss its potential impact. Sounds good.